up potty people and welcome back to my channel so today's video is so random it was not requested at all i just kind of wanted to think about my choices and just think about the decisions i've made that just aren't very good financial decisions and hopefully this inspires you to do the same hopefully this inspires you to think about your makeup purchases as well but today we're talking about products that we overbuy and products that i overbuy in particular i do try to take into consideration that i am a youtuber like i review things as part of this job like this gig is all about reviewing stuff right so i have to have a pretty good vault but there are so many types of products that i buy way too much of that i never use like i buy most of these things because they're pretty and i use them one or two times and just push them back in a drawer so i've broken it down to a few categories so hopefully this inspires you to not feel so pressured because <sighs> It's such a waste. So if you like little random product discussion videos like this where we just sit down and chat and just hang out and talk about the woes that we have with the beauty industry, then give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. I would love to have you stick around and join my family. And please turn that bell on so that you never miss an upload from me. And without further ado, let's dive into some things that I've bought way too much of. So number one, this is I think one that a lot of people can relate to because this is a type of product that is not something that you use every single day. Like I don't know of anyone that uses this type of product every single day and that is liquid eyeshadows. And I have way too many. I think it's one of those things, kind of like cream products, like you just kind of have to be in the mood for them. Like it's not something that you are in the mood for every single day. Like it has to be a certain look that you have in mind. And there's some that I've never actually used. Like I've swashed them and I've admired them on my hand, but I've never actually used them on my eyes. Like I had this Supernova liquid shadow from ColourPop and I've maybe used it once and whenever I pull it out, there's like no product on here. And it used to be so pretty and like gleamy and shiny and it still is, but that's like really swatched it because whenever I pull it out, I don't know if you can hear this, there's nothing in it. These are gonna expire and dry up before I get to use them. So this is my message to you. Whenever you're buying liquid eyeshadows, like buy one or two at a time and then use them up and then go back for more because they, <laughs> they're a phase type product. The next thing are ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. I'm sure a lot of you guys have been in the boat where you've got on the ColourPop website and you've seen all the pretty like swatches and the sparkly new shades and it's just like, oh, want all of them. Well, I've been in that situation a lot, okay? And this entire drawer right here, is all ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. And I have some put in like my daily drawer and like in a section to where maybe I'll see them and be reminded that, hey, you need to use that. But I still don't. But the thing is with these things is that they dry up. Like they're literally gonna dry up before I have time to use it all the way through. And it's really tempting because, you know, a lot of times, like whenever I go into online shopping, I go into it like kind of like go big or go home and I'll get like three of everything. Even if it's not something I'm familiar with, like if it's a new product that I've never tried before, I'll still buy multiples of it just because I don't wanna go and buy more stuff because then you have to worry about getting to the free shipping and all that. So yeah, when it comes to cream shadows in general, and especially the Super Sock collection from ColourPop, just buy one or two at a time. So the next one is a big one for all of us. I feel like a lot of people can relate to this because again, like this is something that is legit, like not even figuratively, like this is legitimately like shiny and sparkly and glittery and that is highlighters. They all look the same. There's literally only so much you can do with highlighters. Like there can only be so many colors. Like they have a very specific purpose. It can literally only be one of two types of formulas. It can be more of a natural formula that gives you more of a sheen and it's not as like blingy or it could be a super blingy, in your face, frosty, shimmery highlight. It's literally like champagne, gold, rose gold, and some form of bronze. I think I've hit tan and maybe two. That brings me to cream liquid highlighter. Yep, something else that will dry up before I get to use them up. I love liquid highlighters. I think they're some of the prettiest things that you can put on your face, but they're another thing that they phase out so fast for me. Like I had, like it, it literally takes me approximately a month to get over it. These Ulta Beauty highlighting drops, so beautiful. Love these, raved about these. These were a dupe for the cover effects ones, but I used it maybe five times and just let it sit and now it's all watery and goopy and weird and these are discontinued. I have 15 blue million like stick highlighters and these are so old that the caps have broken off of them and they're just like sitting out in the open all dried up and stuff and they're fine, they're beautiful. 
Oh man. I've got one from Catrice. Let's see what this one looks like. Have I even used it? Maybe one time. I don't even know. Oh look, those look the exact same. Shocker. I just need to use up all my highlighters and then start from scratch. Like I need to stop buying highlighters, but these brands keep pulling me in. Powder loose eyeshadows. This is another one of those things I look at and I see them and I'm just like, oh my God, I need that in my collection. It's so beautiful. It's shiny. It swatches pretty. Look, oh, I just need it. But whenever I buy them, I don't use them at all. It's the same thing with like loose highlighters for me too. I just, I don't like a loose formula. It's just not convenient for me. I don't like to travel with it. But whenever I see pretty swatches, I get suckered in and buy these things that I know that I'll never use. Concealers. <laughs> Concealers are almost like the new eyeshadow palette. They're so everywhere. Like I feel like every brand is coming out with concealer and they all pretty much have the exact same claim. So it's like, we're trying all these concealers to see which one's the best, or I am anyway, you know, which one's the best of the best out of this like sea of concealers. And you know, I've gotten myself stuck with probably a hundred some dollars worth of concealers, if not more. So what I've been trying to do, and it's kind of been interrupted by like concealer based videos or, you know, testing new concealers for future videos, but I've been trying to focus on one concealer and using it every single day to try to use it up. So like these ColourPop concealers, these aren't my favorite, but I'm the type that even if I don't like it, like if I can't return it, I'll just, I'll keep using it. I'll just use it on days that don't really matter. So like if I just need to throw on some makeup to go to the store or, you know, whatever the case may be. And this isn't a bad formula. I just, I don't prefer it over other ones, but you know, I, I'm to the point where I can see it. That could be where it's just old. Yeah, it's looking pretty, pretty rough in there. But I started trying to use this every single day so I can empty this thing because I'm tired of looking at it. And then last, I'm not pulling this one out, but we can all relate to this, eyeshadow palettes. I, I can't do anymore. Eyeshadow palettes are popping out left and right. Anastasia, I think someone counted and they came out with 10 or 12 palettes this year so far. ColourPop, I don't even want to count because I think I'd be so disappointed. Actually, I probably do need to do that. I'd say they're probably up in the double digits as well. But I have so many eyeshadow palettes and I can't enjoy any of them. And luckily eyeshadows, I mean, even though they say they have an expiration date, who really believes that nonsense? And I don't know of one person who's used up every single pan in an eyeshadow palette. Like, I feel like it's almost impossible to do because I feel like all of us, we have our favorites. Like, we, we have our picks in an eyeshadow palette and usually we use three, four, five consistently, but the rest of the palette goes to waste. So, you know, you can think about, okay, this is actually a good deal for this many shades. Like this, this is a, a $25 palette and I have 18 shades in it. That's a pretty good deal, but is it really? Because are you using every single shade? Like, are you actually getting your money's worth? I mean, I'm not going to sit here and act like all high and mighty. Like I'm going to just stop buying eyeshadow palettes, but I'm really trying to limit it. Like I'm really trying to be selective in what I buy. You know, can I make a similar look with palettes that I have in my collection, you know, versus buying that new palette? And most of the time the answer is yes, but they get you, man. They get you. So that is it for some products that I personally, and I'm sure you as well, over buy. Hopefully this inspires you to do better and to be a more smart consumer and less wasteful because I feel like that's kind of the problem with our beauty industry as a whole right now, especially where YouTube is so big. It's really created wasteful consumers. Like we buy all this stuff and we know good and well that we'll never use it up. Like there's only a few things that it's pretty easy to use up if you don't have a lot of them. But I've really tried to narrow my scope and think more critically about, you know, is that something that I'll actually use on a regular basis? And most of the time the answer is no. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it enlightening. And if you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.